Hey, welcome. It's Dave, climber, setter, coach here at the Hangout Climbing Center in Duncan, BC. And my friend Jeffrey wrote in the comments section, do you have any tips for how to project? And I do. Just like Jeffrey, I found that when I was going to the V4 stage specifically, I had enough strength to get through the moves to do the crux and all the individual sequences. I didn't have the endurance to get all the way to the finish. So I did a lot of reading, a lot of research, and I have a couple of strategies I want to share with you for how you can project more efficiently, more confidently, and get to the top. Right now, I'm about halfway up this climb. This isn't actually my project, but it is a V4, and this is the crux. And what I find for myself, the key for this move, getting over this overhang, is the trajectory of my climb. I need to create inward momentum with my hips, so that when I stick this hold here, my shoulders are more underneath the hold. If I just push with my legs and I don't create inward momentum, my shoulders will fly out and I'll be slipping off the wall because my force will be going across the hold and not down and through it. Now, once you've got the crux, what you wanna do is employ some strategy. Don't just rush back to the beginning, you wanna practice the top and I'll tell you why in just a second. All right, so in this situation, I'm now past the hardest move for me. And this is where I actually find most people fall off the wall. They've done this first hard move, but they've run out of energy to get the next move. And Eric Hurst, a climbing coach that I grew up really paying attention to and, and admiring, he said, most people practice their climb from the ground up. So they get three times as much practice on the first part of the climb and only one third the practice at the top because they keep falling off at the crux. He wanted me to flip that, work three times as much at the finish, get that dialed down, and then work my way back to the beginning. And so in that case, make sure you know how to get to the finish. Make sure that when you get here when, and you're tired and you're shaking, you're confident that you can latch this top hold. I watch too many people let their ego get in the way and they don't want to start halfway. And when they get here, they keep falling off unnecessarily. Okay, so you say, Dave, I've practiced the finishing third three times as much as the opening third. I still can't get my project. What do I do now? Time to bring out the big guns, the secret weapon of projecting strategy. I was listening to a climbing podcast, a climbing training podcast with Neely Quinn. And she interviewed a local crusher in her area who was famous for doing the climbs from the second move. And I thought, why would you do that? And his strategy was, if I have done all the moves from the top, I worked from the second move to the finish, then I go down a few moves, I go to the finish, and I gradually move myself all the way back down to the finish. Even if I've done the move 50 times, that's confidence building for me. And when I finally go for my red point attempt, I know I can do all the moves because it's just one more. So in this case, I'm going to practice from the move just before the crux and try to get to the finish. And I wanna make sure that I have that dialed down and then you'll see me move down again and down again until I go to the beginning and I get it from the start. All right, like we said, I'm in position. I nail the crux move. And then because I still have energy, this sequence isn't too hard for me. So I'm gonna go back down to the beginning, move down a couple of holds, try to get to the finish again. Attempt two, I'm going to move back a couple just before, after the start and just before the crux and try to get to the finish so that I'm even more confident. Excellent. All right, now we're ready for the final attempt from the start. There's a hard move coming up here right off the beginning, which is going to drain me. But because I have the confidence from all the previous successful attempts, I should be able to move efficiently, move confidently and smoothly and get to the top if I do it quickly.
There you go, success. This strategy should work every time. The only reason it wouldn't work is if you can't silence that awful critic in your own mind that says you're cheating. But if you can humble your ego, spend the time it takes to practice, and be patient, I really will see you at the top. Cheers.